So I recently watched uh, Sigmouth's recent couple of videos about uh, this um, this unpleasant confrontation between her and some other YouTube user, and she made a recent video about arrogant people and uh, you know the difficulty in dealing with them. And uh, those of you who've been following my channel know that I had a recent drama with a YouTube user, which I'm not going to rehash because that'd be self-serving and uh, unproductive. But I, I, I want to say I, I've always hated this whole ponage mentality that you see on uh, YouTube. And when, when it's directed at you, uh, at least for, for me anyway, when it's directed at me, like, I find it's really exhausting and it, and it drains my energy and it feels, yeah, like, uh, and, 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 and it just like, it sucks to try to live with that and, and it sticks in your craw and, uh, I, mean, I mean, but aside from, uh, you know, from from how it it affected me emotionally, it's just I find it really unproductive to um, to discourse on on in terms of intellectual development because I mean, it it's, it doesn't take long to figure out whether someone is interested in engaging in dialogue with you versus when they're looking to score points. You know, I'm and, and they'll you know, if it's latter, they'll tend to like talk down to you or make lots of, like make lots of assumptions about you or try to trap you and trick questions, look for weak spots, and generally find ways to pounce on you. And um and, and thing I, one thing I found is like even when people even when someone pones you know people who I don't much care for, such as like creationists or racists or whatever, when when they when they spend most of their time going after other people um, it, it, I find it generally tells me something about that personality. Like, even, like, I mean, it's one thing to debunk ideas. And I, and I think that, you know, creationism and racism and, uh, you know, sexism and all things should be addressed, um, as, you know, as, as things that need to be debunked or, 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 or gone through. But when someone spends most of the time going after, uh, people, specific people, um, it, it tells me something about their mentality, about, about their attitude, um, and the, and it tells me that, that if I that if I want to register, register a disagreement with them on something, that they're probably not going to be very charitable to me either, very charitable to me either, and um, so I mean, the, one thing with with my videos, I, I mean. If you go through all my videos, you might find one or two videos where I include the uh, the username of the person I'm responding to in the title of the video. I don't generally do that because I, I don't like to make it about the person. I like to make it about the ideas being discussed. Um, and yeah, because I, I find that just personal, you know, personalism in general in the way. And and often when it, when I'm you know, going through my subscriptions and I see a bunch of videos, you know, saying response to so and so. Like, um, usually I, I just see it as a bunch of drama that doesn't concern me, and you know, something that you know, just I just need to skip over. And you know, one one thing that I find is particularly toxic about this whole uh, you know combative mentality is uh, that it doesn't leave any room for vulnerability. And I think that really productive discussion on YouTube uh, needs to have a certain level of vulnerability where people feel safe to express uncertainty about something or concede a point without the other person you know, pouncing on you and declaring themselves the victor uh, by, by seeing that as a weakness. Because the thing is, uncertainty doesn't always mean ignorance. It could, you know, it could be, mean this thing you, you've really thought a lot about and... Um, uh, and and they're still developing an idea about, and and obviously people should be comfortable to concede a point, but when the other person's attacking you, it's really uh, you know it's really hard to do because you know that they're going to see that as a weakness, um, and you can tell it's a totally different dynamic when there's when you have like a friend who corrects you on some misunderstanding you have, or tries to explain why they think they see things differently. And that's why I, I don't even really like debate, per se, so much as discourse or discussion. I mean, obviously, you know, there are sometimes, sometimes you have like these, uh, you know, very professional moderated debates where, 
each side presents a certain angle and you know, they, they debate the, the merits between that. And you know, that can be um, productive, but I find what's most productive is just when you engage in a discussion with someone and if you disagree with them, like I, I, like, I like to, when I'm having a friendly discussion with someone, I explain why I disagree with them and I can, I can have it not be about why they're wrong and I'm right. It's like, here's my perspective on this. That's what, this is how I see it. And you know, yours may differ. Um, and so you, you can tell you know, there's a very bit different dynamic that when, than when you're trying to uh, you know, prove the other, one, other person wrong and make them look stupid. And um, this is where actually I feel like my speech impediment helps me. You, know, you, you may have noticed that I tend to stutter and pause and say um a lot. Which uh, you know, in more extreme cases, that can be you know, a communication barrier for me, and it's something I've had to work through a lot, and I've gotten better uh, over the years. But uh, one thing that actually helps me with is it uh, rids me of the t the temptation to do a bunch of pwnage videos with people because you you just can't pwn someone uh, while, while stuttering. You know, it it doesn't tend to look very good, um, and. You know, there's one thing I, f I find about, uh, on YouTube, and I, I really, you know, I don't generally like the you know, ter the terms open-minded and closed-minded because people almost always tend to you know say that want to say that the people who disagree with them are closed-minded, and you know that just becomes a way of shutting down debate. But uh, one one sign I find about uh, people who are really open-minded is. That they don't instead of trying to preach to you or push their ideas on you, uh, when, when you watch their videos, you can see them sort of you know working through their ideas and trying to process them and, and organize them into some intelligible uh, you know concepts and, uh, and and so you can see you can see that sort of openness in, in them as they're you know as they're working through it and uh, and you get to sort of join them in that process together. Um, and one user who really does this well, and I, and I hope he doesn't mind me um, bringing his name to this, but is uh, he goes by the name Thou Art That, uh, and, and I follow him not only on YouTube but also on his blog and Facebook and stuff. But um, he often engages in uh, with audiences that are you know, hostile to his ideas, as well as uh, you know, it's not often to him personally. And I've seen how you know when people are just rude can be just completely rude assholes to him he always maintains his composure and his civility and always tries to engage in very uh, or an honest you know, discussion with them and uh, i i really admire that but i couldn't do that i mean when someone disrespects me or talks down to me you know, my defenses go up and i shoot back and of course i i don't do that for very long because as i said it's very draining on me to to do that and uh, so I usually, you know, end up ignoring them or unsubscribing or blocking them or whatever. But you know, I mean, and I've I've had people actually uh, ask me to take on certain people like like fundamentalists and, and, cre and creationists and stuff. And um, you know, I, I I'll I'll certainly go after certain ideas that I think are toxic, but. Um, I but I don't like to engage with users, and, and I I certainly think that there's just too much shit going on in the real world to try and pick fights on YouTube or on the internet. So uh, I guess that's it for now. Peace.